Christianity and other Bible-based belief systems. Let's make no mistake that they can be really nasty. There are tons of things in the Bible that make it pretty damn close to being as hateful and violent of a religion as Islam. Let's take a Bob Marshall of Virginia who's shoving forth yet another anti-gay bill that would allow anyone in any business, whether it's private, whether it's a governmental business, could even be the DMV, to fully discriminate against gay people. Now you can guarantee that that would only be the first step if they were to actually get their way. As I've said before, imagine if Pat Robertson were running this country. Imagine if we were a theocracy. It would be so easy for things to become just as bad as what they are in Islamic countries, in Muslim countries. Things could get just as bad. Now, are you going to claim that, uh, well, that's not real Christianity? Are you going to claim that the people who don't do that aren't real Christians? Because, you know, it says there in their book, right? You can read along with me in your book. You will know when it is time to turn the page when you hear the chimes ring like this. Let's begin now. Anyway, um, then let's think about the Pope. His recent statement that you make fun of his family, he has the right to punch you. You make fun of someone's family, they have the right to become violent. And yet, he's just said that uh, gay marriage is a threat to society as a whole, is a threat to God's plan that it's a threat. So he can say all this stuff about gay families that have gay parents, and that's cool, but don't make fun of his mother, because then he can get, he can get medieval on your buttocks, right? I gotta say, if something like this this bill that uh, Bob Marshall is shoving forth actually was to pass in a state like here in Washington, which it wouldn't, and if it passed, it would be repealed very quickly, just like about in any other state, it's going to be repealed quickly. But if something like that was to pass, and it wasn't repealed, and I was trying to just get groceries, and the person at the checkout stand somehow knew that I was gay and said, I'm sorry, um, I can't, uh, I'm, I'm not going to, you, you, you can't, uh, you can't get your groceries here. Um, I would go to jail for assault. I guarantee it. And I know there's a lot of other gay people that feel the same way. Here's the thing. I wouldn't feel that way about any Christian or anyone of any sort of religious belief unless they're trying to stop me from getting my basic essentials. This is the way that most of you should really be feeling as far as I'm concerned. I'm telling you how to feel, I guess, but, you know, you, you should really think about this stuff. That's what I'm saying. If, you know, when it comes to uh, the Muslim extremists, you should be angry at Muslim extremists. You shouldn't be have all your anger pointed towards Islam itself. Otherwise, you might as well have that kind of anger towards any Bible-based religion. Because they can be just as bad as Islam. We're fortunate we don't live in a theocracy. 
We're very fortunate for that. And we need to remember that the fact that we don't live in a theocracy is what makes this a good country.